makes the Alpine Loop so fun, aside from all the awesome company and great food and the moonshine, which we hope to find at the top of the mountain, is the, uh, the fact that you're bringing a knife to a gunfight. It's gravel, it's bedrock, and uh, historically, it is Harrisonburg style. To take your road bike where no road bike has gone before and probably shouldn't. I took a couple rides that scare the hell out of me and keep me training. This is, uh, this is definitely one of those things. Killed it, baby. I owned it. That's right. <laughs> oh, I wore the Lantern Rouge twice, uh, and I figured, hey, you better be in front of me or you're in trouble. I just wanted to make a huge shout out first to all you riders that came out here, braved the weather, and got the negative thoughts out of your mind. Congratulations, because you won just by showing up. So, big round of applause for everybody who didn't look into the forecast with too much dread and looked at optimism. And I hope it's with optimism that you take on all your challenges in life. You know, I think these hard bike rides, they're kind of just a euphemism for life. You know, and I think when you step up to the plate, you give it what you got, you find out you have more in the tank than you think you had. So uh, I want you to raise your right arm and take uh, and put it on the shoulder of the person next to you. I want you guys to look out for each other out there. Um, we're all in this together. And if you can help someone, then that will help make your day. So go out there, have a fantastic ride. Shout out to Erin Bishop, my wife, up here with the teal on. She keeps it all tight and organized. We couldn't do it without her. Jody's stuck on this one. Jody's stuck on uh, ringing his bell. She's been waiting for this for weeks. <laughs> sun? Is that the sun? What is that? What is that yellow thing in the sky? Awesome time. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the view. <laughs> All right. Getting ready for a little party, a little bike party. So this rollout been the same pretty much for years. Pretty chill, pretty mellow. But then we'll, uh, you know, get to business. Hey, it never uh, ceases to amaze me. This is always really exciting to be able to take over downtown. You know, bikes are in charge for once. Bikes are in charge. That's yes. They should be. Yes. So we head out from here. We got about a 20 mile warm up and then we hit the first climb. Shenandoah Mountain, absolutely brutal, but also one of my favorite climbs. Three and a half miles, 1400 vertical feet. And nothing like a line out. That's one of the fun things about hosting an event like this. You get like this Skittle, the Skittle train. Everybody rocking their safety colors out here. Um, then you get them lined up for like miles. And so you look back on some of the hills uh, early on the route and you can just see the chicane of riders. Just going on and on and on. Super cool. Got the right bike. Morning. Hey, Corey, rock. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, the weather sure has turned our way. Yeah. Ah, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a fantastic day out here. The breeze is pushing out the clouds. There's even blue sky. Woo! Best part of this whole ride is ride with your friends. <laughs> You know, a little peer pressure, a little challenge. 
Uh, if you can talk your buddies into going, it makes getting out the door on a cool damp morning pretty easy. So, we're gonna... Feels like Bob. All right, here's the split, y'all. Short routes these way, all the longer routes this way. Yo! Hey, hey! Yo! Oh, you missed me. All right, 30, 30 mile that way, all the rest of the routes this way. 30 mile that way, the rest of the route this way. formulas at the eight stations one of our awesome sponsors uh, we've got some delicious treats we even have some surprises out there I'm not gonna spoil it for you but uh, yeah the first 45 minutes is not a ton of climbing it's just rolling and then you have this flat run-in which I call the Autobahn it reminds me of an Audi commercial or something you know like this beautiful straightaway through these big tall trees I'm just trying to enter the National Forest videos I got a little caught off the back taking videos, so I better hustle and get back up to that lead group. But it's a headwind! Ah! All right. Now nah, some good guys to work with. And we're gonna catch the front group. All right. Oh, oh. Ah, that stung a little bit. Oh. oh, there they are. We got about eight minutes to rest, and then we go straight up the mountain. That thing for our selfie, Jason. Yeah. There we go. Oh, look at this guy. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good spot. All right, so this is a straightaway. I call it the Autobahn because it's just burnt, full on, beautiful, high speed backcountry road. And then we get the big climb coming, just a, a couple more miles. But so far, rollout's pretty good. Everybody's staying safe, and it's not raining. Electrolytes. So I cramped up the SM100. Now I've got the. Uh, so we are moving now. Yeah, we are. We're approaching the five, full flat uphill, 20 miles per hour, 21. So, Jason, yeah, man. you stoked? Dude, I'm fine. Yeah, it's gonna be really grand fondo. Is this Dude. your first grand fondo, Jason? It is. Go. First one. So. Jason, check him out. Go fast turn left on Instagram. And what's your YouTube channel? Uh, it's the same. Uh, All right. You can find it under Jason Anderson snowboarding, more or less. That's easier. All right. Professional motocross racer that tends to pop up if you just do Jason Anderson. But All right. You can find. So former there. snowboard athlete, cyclist now as well. And I'm sure there's some differences and some similarities, but uh, you know both are filled with adventure and they. They had their, their awesome parts. Super fun, man. I'm stoked to be here. We just got absolutely blessed with the weather passing yesterday, making for some beautiful temperatures. And I think we might even see some changing colors at some point. This yeah, time. yeah, so, just a little bit of yellow, a little bit of reds, a little bit of orange, especially up high. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Making a little 200K ride. Very good. So, Trent, you ready to make some music on this climb? Oh, man, I'll be singing the whole way up. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you're not crying to blues. <laughs> yeah, 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 it'll be the muscles. They're singing hard. Yeah, no, it'll be good. I oh, think yeah. 
It's just about finding the rhythm, you know, and yeah, you know when it's right. Exactly. You know it's right. Exactly. The nice, nice to not overcook it. I've done this a few times where we go like sprint up the first climb. Oh. It makes the rest of the ride kind of miserable. Yeah. And it's kind of just you got to find a find that just right pace and one that you can hit. You know, all three time segments on. Exactly. You don't want to burn too many matches. Yeah. Oh yeah. Here it comes. I'm trying to see if I can make contact before before we go uphill. I usually get dropped if I'm socializing too much back here. Rock and roll. There's Ben Wright going for it already. Oh boy. Good luck. That's it, boys. seconds out the front camera Cogburn close there's a nice group I'm gonna try to hang in the back of these guys Whew. and I'm dying Whew. that's it nice work Together. We're trying to catch her. There's one guy up. I know. And there's another. Yeah. I need to be on the podium, but we're gonna help these guys keep it a little closer. Got Cameron Cogburn just ahead. He's the record holder on Reddish Knob. He is no slouch. I'm Ben Wright, former national hill climb champion in the front. A little misty up here on the top of 33. I was fourth in that segment, but just had fun opening it up. We've been putting a lot of work into this thing just to make it happen. And now we get to enjoy the beauty of the mountain. Ride with some friends. We're gonna go try to catch up now. Y'all good?
Four to go. Yeah, there you go. I really recognize you in all that dark kit. Dude, I know. you're dressed warm. I'm dressed warm. Which I think was pretty smart. Yeah, man. Given the way the top of that mountain looked. Holy cow. I know. Woo! Not good to get hypothermic. Uh, yeah. Well, it's crazy. It was like, it was just a little misty at the top, but the backside was like quite cold. Yeah. That first one was a little rough, had the governor on it, but you know, felt good, so just gonna tap out my pace today, have fun. Yeah. I don't need to crucify myself, I'm just out here enjoying the ride. All right. Look at all these goods. Oh my gosh. Usually the first one doesn't have quite as much stuff. They all are rolling out the red carpet. Looking good here. Um, I usually eat like one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, and then I'm ready to vomit going up this first climb because it starts in like a quarter mile. So like the worst thing you could possibly do is completely stuff yourself before the second time section, but that's a little insider knowledge. Shake out my rain jacket. Man, if you guys start a fire over here, you'll be making some friends. There'll be people trying to kiss you because the top of that mountain is like 50 degrees and freezing. It is uh, misting up there and about 10 degrees colder. That's right. Oh, yeah. It's been a while. In the house. What's up? What's up? Good to see you too. Got a fist bump all folks helping us out. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> There was like a cloud sitting on the top of the mountain. I know, and on the way down, it was a little misty, but it was still a ton of fun. Yeah. How was your climb? A dry out. Uh, I was definitely hurting. I was feeling lifting all these boxes and stuff, all these tables and shit. Like <laughs> last night at 11 p.m., yeah. you know, Aaron and I are like hooking up trailers and got five hours of sleep and then waking up and doing it again, you know. And then the Porta John, like you'll see at the last aid station, we we're like pushing that up onto a trailer like in the middle of the dark while it's raining <laughs> it was epic awesome. but uh, now it's time to party yeah. now it's time to socialize where are you from uh charlottesville awesome what's but your name I'm reed i went to jmu awesome reed yeah yeah and Jack. yeah yeah from richmond that's right you've been here before mm -hmm. yes so we got a bunch of regulars bunch of new faces but uh yeah it's 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 all fresh there's a different experience every time you do this oh yeah like uh, I'm very curious to see what Fold's gap's going to be like. <laughs> All right, y'all want to see what's going on right here? This, this, this is patented right here. This is where you take this uh, waffle and you squeeze the Heinstinger. You put the uh, waffle, you put the raspberry pro move, raspberry up on there. Oh, look at, oh. Oh, oh my, oh my word. Pro move, pro move. What's the jelly for then, Davey? Mm. No. I'm down, done. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Great tip, right there. Oh, with honey, though, that's smart. <laughs> I love that idea. I don't know I, that's a good idea. The taste of it, but... With the honey, it's probably better. Smoothie. Oh, there is a honey? Coming? Yeah, the honey. Pick the honey, better. Mm -hmm. Honey's a way better idea. Mm -hmm. that's, my, that's my tip. <laughs> The van lit it up. He's got a at least a 30 second gap here, but if he goes hypothermic, you got a good chance 
Yeah. Cameron. <laughs> well, my plan, my plan was really go like hard on that first one and then kind of roll it in. Yeah. No, it's. it's I'll, I'll go hard, but it'll you know, be fun. You got to drive me back to New York, though. That's, yeah. That's, you're gonna have to drive me. Yeah, save a back. little, save a little energy. Oh no. wow, it's beautiful out. Holy it cow! Is. Once the sun warm comes out. All right. I'm gonna try to do some damage on this next one. This one's not gravel, right? Oh yeah, it is gravel. It's this gonna one. be, this it's gonna gravel. be effed up, buddy. Load one of my favorite climbs. I only do this a couple times a year, but it is such a good one. A gravel could get real interesting, though. We're gonna have to see. Oh, look at that! Ah! Oh, I'm gonna regret that. I just made him angry. Get it. Huh. No more gears. second place on this segment Ben is right there but I don't much care what place I finished because it's so beautiful it's a little grimy but not slick really it's a little slow Entering Jurassic Park. Go for the dinosaurs. Oh. Uh, it's the second steep pitch of three. Really, the top one I think is the worst. Oh no. Yeah, Fultz is nasty. I forgot how much this climb hurts. Oh, gnarly. I got a couple of breaks. Okay, power up for this last, last pitch. Cause it's, it's a monster. It's like 20% grade for a half a mile. Ugh. The climb is gnarly. Oh, <laughs> it's got a little <laughs> gravel mixed with the peanut butter. Yeah, a little slippery. Uh, almost there, it's a, another quarter mile steep pitch coming and that's it. Yeah, almost uh. there. That is beautiful back here. Unreal. Uh.
Ah, I knew I shouldn't have sprinted at the bottom. Ah. I was dying, except then I saw this sign. You want, you want one? Yes, sir. Oh. oh my gosh. What do we have here? Oh, shit. They don't know West Virginia. Hospitality. What do you want there, fella? No, oh, I'll go with the uh, the bullet. Well, I don't know. I can't even read right now. <laughs> I need a little more oxygen in my brain. Oh yeah. Oh, just a little sip will do the trick. Yeah, my brother told me. I want to hand it out. My brother likes the. Uh, says it's like a challenge after a hard climb. He would like to suck it down. So. Ah. Woo. <laughs> wow. Well, Matt, you know, he was telling me uh, they had whiskey up here first year. Uh -huh. Moonshine up here. Are you? Jeremiah. Okay, oh, Matt Loke. Right. I was yeah. going to put Matt Loke says hi. Yep. On the sign. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's my brother. Awesome. Uh huh. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. And oh, you yeah. are yeah. Adam. Adam Loke. Adam Loke. Yep. Yes, sir. And this is family farm, right? Yep. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, about uh, close to a thousand acres. And. Uh, just running cattle and riding dirt bikes. And, By God, West you know, Virginia. Exactly. Well, you know, ever since I found this, you know, little through road that came up over it, it um, I don't know, it just brought me, uh, you know, tears of joy to find a, uh, you know, beautiful mountaintop oh, uh, to visit and peaceful, it's calm way of heaven, living. Man, it is, it is. You know, the West Virginia's got a saying, it's almost heaven. There's a reason for it. Yeah, so yeah. get out here. Get on, get on your bike. I'm gonna get a shot with you. Catch up with the boys. Hopefully not crash. Very good. I'll send that to Matt. Hey, thank you so he'll be, he'll be much. Stoked. I'll and we really appreciate the hospitality. You know, it's uh, it's such a nice thing. And um, you know, if there's anything I can do to repay it, you just let me know. It's free. You need you need to push some bales of hay up into a tractor or uh, into a trailer one day. You just call me. We'll do. I owe you one. Good seeing you. All right. Thanks so much. Yeah, nothing like family hospitality. There's low uh, family up here. Go to this farm at the top. Oh, wow. And the flowers are popping. Or maybe it's the whiskey that just hit. <laughs> Real quick. Um, no, it's a, a really, really neat place up here. And we're lucky to be able to roll through here. And ride with friends get up there speaking of friends beautiful what a gorgeous descent oh so beautiful brings tears to my eyes no, it's just because it's like kind of cold and stuff. I'm not actually crying. But if I did cry on bike rides, I would cry on this one because it is sweet. So nice to share this. So nice to, you know, get this, pay this forward. I've been really lucky being able to go do some really rad stuff on my bike. And this is a chance to help other people experience that. here in a minute and this marks probably the farthest point out on the course really awesome little section here along the Potomac River there now it's like a pioneer village out here uh, Franklin is a really cool old town with neat architecture and kind of cool little vibe beautiful
one of my favorite little sections is a cool little slot canyon. philosophical the rain yesterday we needed the rain pretty bad so it's working out oh are you using the bent parts for the upper oh, it's wet but we're still having fun having a great time as always are you feeling the fall vibes oh for sure it's the fall uh, vibes Cool. Once we get the fire over in this fireplace, cool. like people will be, uh, people will be loving the fall vibes. Mr. Frazier has the fall vibes going. Thank you. He's got the River Blend samples out here. Uh, really appreciate you, Janelle, one of our friends, also helping out and uh, making sure everybody's well fed, topped off for what is, you know, for a lot of people, their highlight uh, ride of the year. You know, one of the toughest rides they do. Um, and hopefully one of the most rewarding. So, all right, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab some snacks. Let me grab a snack here. Ben, coming at you. <laughs> come on, get in there. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> all right, we need to set up a goal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he couldn't resist. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Oh, 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 we got a show off. Mm. Oh, man. So, what about the trees? Any funny stories? So, from, from the. Well, no, I mean, if you had this aid station, the Fraser Quarries. Uh, aid station for yeah, several years. The one year uh, we had a good breakfast. They had squirrel gravy and uh, hotcakes. Wow! And maple syrup. That was when the Treasure Mountain Festival was through, or something. I think it was an FFA fundraiser. Oh. It might have been the same because Treasure Mountain. But... I think I've tried the shepherd's pie once. There's a lot of little bones in there, but it was good. It was good, just no doubt. Oh, but we'll have the uh, we'll have the shepherd's pie. Um, you know, contest, you know, you got to have it at the bottom of the climb or like during the time Next section. Aid station, that's what we'll do here. Maybe do some squirrel gravy here. That would be amazing. So Matt Lowe was at the top of Folds Gap and it had bourbon and whiskey on the back of his pickup truck. It was amazing. Thanks for a fun trip down. Oh, I couldn't. Oh, well. It was a ceremonial sip. Trust me. I, I know better. I'm like a, I'm like a lightweight. <laughs> I would have been crashed into the trees and laughing about it if I had to actually drank too much. 
It's time. Who wants to get some chamois butter? I'm, I'm, I'm uh, offering free applications. Dorp will take free anything. Come on. Dorp free. Come on. Turn around. You can put it right through the hole. Vicious. Is that like the applicator hole? Yeah. Speed well, apply. Hopefully you're not needing this while you're out here, but just in case you are. <laughs> We're keeping it lubricated out here, Franklin. <laughs> squirt. Oh yeah. A little squirt. This is boss guy fucking me up. Oh. <laughs> I would have nazzed for all this attention, but I mean like this is neutral support, Paul. <laughs> neutral support. Can I get a push on this next segment? <laughs> and then we'll be talking. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's hooking it up. I need all the help I can get. Oh, that's cool. I like how this aid station rolled with the, uh, you ride in, you pit stop, and you yeah. exit out this way. Some of the trivia back here. So this is Th Thorn Creek. <laughs> and it's, yeah, one of the best black. And uh, there's even a JMU bus. So JMU used to be a women's only college back in the day. Yeah. Um, this bus, I don't even know how it got out here, but you'll see it if you look very carefully up in the woods on the right. And it's like, it says JMU on it. And I guess they had like a geology field trip and the bus broke down. They had to get like a, you know, Jeep or something or cars, a couple cars to get people back. And they never came back out for the bus. That's awesome. So there's a JMU bus up here in the woods right. from like 1957. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah, I'll show it to you. It's one of those things you only know it's like green, so it really blends in. You can't see it. Uh, yes. So sweet. Thorn Springs. Tough climb here. My PR is about eight minutes. I think Ben King has the KOM on this one. Incidentally, a little trivia: two-time Vuelta España stage winner. Um, yeah, really pretty. Not one of the tiny climbs. It's refreshing that this route doesn't have. Imagine if every one of the climbs was timed. It would just be like brutal. It's kind of a nice mix, though. Yeah. I kind of want to get rid of that second climb. No. Like, Bolt's Gap, just not time it? Leave it. Yeah, you like that one? Like or maybe just not time the 33 Fair climb. Because yeah. back to back, they're murder. Yeah. yeah. All right, beautiful sight. Yeah, fall is starting to come in out here in the mountains of West Virginia. All right, so we got a couple more climbs. That last one's a big dog. My name's Eric. I'm from Stanton. Awesome. Yeah, I think I'll maybe sell you at a couple local events. Maybe at uh, Shenandoah 100. Uh, I met you at uh, Rock Town. Ah. The goats are calling. <laughs> the legs, the legs are calling. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, you feel this one, but it's a surprise. It's a bonus climb. It's a bonus climb. It's a stout bonus climb. Sipple Mountain, I think is what it's called. But, uh, you know, I feel lucky, lucky to be here. You know, I had this real sharp pain in my knee on Tuesday and Wednesday. 
I couldn't figure out what it was and I was worried it might be the day that I was doing the route in the support car cheering out the window but not yet not yet so anybody's out here trying you know they're very very lucky and they're able to ride that's a that's awesome. that is a gift So not getting hurt is a big benefit. Yeah, you can hold some good fitness, I think. That that was a goal this year is to not be injured, and here we are. So far, so good. Just got to make it over two more mountains. Yes. And I've had a great season. I've done a lot of cool things. You know, I won a stage of Breck Epic. Done, yeah, uh, so that was that, that was that is cool. That is cool. Yeah, that tough so one. really nice to against all these young be able. Guns, yeah, exactly. You know? So. You know, it's a gift just to be able to get out and hammer and some days better than others, but just to be out here is just a, a lovely, you know, a lovely experience and fun. Yeah, it couldn't be long enough for me. But this guy took me there, so it's fine. Got him on the speaker, so like halfway side going. That's a nice climb. I don't think it'll be too too wet, just a little grit. The motorcycles love it. Remember the last Venice Uh-huh. Yeah. A friend of mine. This is a great story. One year they had the Shenandoah 500, the morning of the Fondo. The backside of the was torn up in like a construction site. Yeah. Dust and rock. big tires on so I can play a little bit.
So we just finished the climb of Palo Alto, which means there's one big climb left. And when I mean big climb, I mean like, it is a really tough climb. Steve switchbacks at 15%. Gains, if you don't go to the bonus section, about 1600 vertical over eight miles. If you go all the way up to the top of Reddish, it's almost 14 miles and an HC segment. Reddish knob. Bum, bum, bum. Yum, 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 time for cookie. into the old village of Sugar Grove where you've got the glass church. It's pretty cool. Maybe cool. The old country store. You get shotgun shells, antiques, arrowheads. And uh, yeah, really neat little spot up here. Love it. There's also, they only take cash in there. So you better not come out here unprepared. Because it is the only stop if you're out here riding outside of our van, of course. Aid station. This is a all right. So top off a water bottle. Say hello to our awesome aid station folks. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for coming. Absolutely. Hey Dan, no. thank you so much. Batman. So appreciate your help. Glad I could be here. I, I got a lot of good stories with this guy. Uh, he's worked with USA Cycling for how many? About races? 20 years now. Yeah, so up, up team, you know, 20 plus world championships, many more than I've done as a bike rider. But um, also worked with the Canadian Federation too, right? This summer. Yep. This year, I got very to cool. work with those guys. Yeah, great New crew. Experience, definitely. Yeah, yeah. No, it's fun, fun crew, and um, we are honored to have you at Alpine Loop Grand Fondo. You know, because um, you know your shit. <laughs> Seems like just yesterday we were in Rotorua. Ah, uh, yeah. Man, that was an awesome trip. I got some stories about that too, but that's another video. Um, well, thanks so much, and uh, any crazy stories? Any fun uh, fixes? I uh, had a, a quick brake bleed first thing this morning, sort of right out of the gate was a little brake bleed on top. Um, other than that, it's just been chain lube. Cool. Now I gotta go. get in this one a little. A little gritty, a little grimy. Leave it to me. Tube of spoke pop repair. Spoke. Oh, you popped the spoke? But oh, whoa, where'd you get that, bro? Dude. I think I just totally quit this next time section just to <laughs> eat a piece of pizza. <laughs> Pizzas. Yes, what's up? Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you guys rock. Thank you. Thank you. High fives yeah, all around. Appreciate it. They make like make pizza? the scene. Sure, I'll have a piece of pizza. This one's pepperoni. Oh, oh, oh. This one's pepperoni. This one, these two what's cheese? This one? Cheese? Uh, what do you want? Pepperoni cheese. Which one's gonna not 
end up coming These back ones up. Are pepperoni. I'll just have like a half a pepperoni slice. Can you like half? maybe just just a little nibble? I'm gonna go up this climb and just gonna wanna. I nibble. I know, I know. I'm gonna I just don't wanna like regurgitate it. You know. What? <laughs> We just got to this station, but it's doing journey. And JP's on, still here. here. Oh. <laughs> they're doing good. They're going. They're, yeah, they're because referencing. Yeah, because Reverend's got enough yet. That's they're what referencing doing. their performance. So, <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. That's that's uh, that's flattering. No, thank you, man. So good ride so far. Oh yeah. Having a great time. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, go get some thank waffles. You, thank and... you for the cool weather and the overcast. Yes. That yes. was a good call. Well, at least I could do. Doing clink would go up there, so yeah. Oh, it could be 90, but you know, we got our got our snacks. We've got mechanic. You know, life is good. Life is good. All we need would be a little hammock to take a nap and then. Yeah. Good luck. Have fun out there. Thank you. Me too. Tear it up. We are after that. Hey, what's going on, Jeremy? Come on, let's so, just <laughs> Pat, owner of Chinellos, longtime supporter of the Alpine Loop Grand Fondo. Yeah, nice to be out here in the mountains. It is. Hell yeah. Wish it was a little sunnier. You yeah. guys are enduring. That's just, that's, that's, yeah, that's right. I mean, I wish I had my sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, no, we have great weather and also a great pizza. So, <laughs> I'm burping a little. Yeah, go hit some, go grab pizza. some pizza. Sweet. Let's get some pizza. Oh, yeah. We that. Um, we need that a classic. So, so let's do this. Race stop, right. full backside segment. All right, is, uh, popping up on the Garmin. Yep. Just to taunt me, I don't think. Out into it, dude. Uh, you uh, 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 when you said you were gonna hit this thing, all the way. Oh no. Oh. Dust. <laughs> no dust. Definitely no dust. Good. All right, so we're on the low pitches of the west side of reddish moore's gap road whatever you want to call it we got a lot of to see we're climbing the back side of reddish leaves on the road starting to look like fall and uh cameron and i we have a lot of good stories and we have absolutely uh demolished each other pushing hard and revving it full of gas up a lot of the bigger climbs around here you have any fun stories you remember from big training missions? No, I just remember the last time we were here. You know, I had little skinny tubulars and uh, <laughs> Jeremiah had big fat tubeless and he thought I was gonna flat and Jeremiah flat. Oh. It's all good, I just got lucky. I just got lucky. He did get the KOM and the overall that year, I believe. Did right? I? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Well, it was nice seeing uh, different people win. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I've, I've gone hard on this and you know I just wanted to put out my best effort but you know as a host of the ride yeah. it's also great seeing other people performing really well Ben Wright's flying today looks like he's about to take his second overall um, top performance here A good tempo here. Let's see what happens. Ah. I mean, I'm in the in the mix. I'll make it over the hill, but maybe not first place. All right. I thought you were pulling the pin or something. I was like, come on, dude. You can't quit yet. You gotta at least like work with me to a halfway point. Chain suck. <laughs> Suffering on JB's wheel. It's <laughs> like old time.
You got it. You're doing great.
cheer your friends on and get a workout in. All right, so hanging out here at the aid station, hosted by Harmony Harvest Farm. We've got Nutella waffles, we've got cookies, we've got croissants, we've got pickles, pickle juice. I'm definitely hitting some of that since I was almost cramping up the last five. But the vibe is good. We got the brew bakers in the house. All right. So they're obviously cheering Trent on. Trent, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta hassle him. You know he's struggling. He's gonna make it. He's working hard. Yeah. <laughs> all right, what was that? I'm from Chesapeake, and this is more than I've climbed all year. <laughs> like, add all my rides up for the last year, and this is more for sure. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's uh, awesome. <laughs> Uh, we're having a good time. We got the love poster over here. We gotta make sure you get a couple of photos in front of that. Some really pretty section over here past this mill. There's usually a bunch of trout on the right hand side. Just make out in the stream. Save for they're there today. There they are. The trout. Right. So we just have about 16 miles left. And a one steep, steep kicker, Mole Hill. But we do have an intermediate sprint. You want to go for the sprint, Yeah, sure, why not? I know. Oh, 
you want to go it's going to be a headwind too. Oh. It's going to hurt. How long have it been after? It's uphill headwind for like 40 seconds. Oh, no, no, no. All right. No, no, forget that. <laughs> forget that. Yeah, maybe we'll lead someone else out. Yeah. <laughs> he was trying to remember the uh, the bait. Was it a bait? Pretty today. The clouds are yeah, really nice. Clouds? Yeah. Fumes. The fumes. Yeah, it's a little fun. I'm gonna get some nice stencils one year for the course markings. Stencils? Oh no. Road. Yeah, I mean it's like sharrows or, or those whatever you call it. Ride arrows, have you seen those stickers? They're kind of cool but they're small. Yeah. So it's really difficult to see. See them? Yeah, well, whatever, but it's just yeah. like clean looking. It's very clean, yeah. Because that spray chalk with the jaggy lines is yeah. it's a little tough to see. Yeah. At least it's consistent with the yellow, but 
something a little more bold like a stencil would be nice we have a stencil but it's not now, would they, people get upset with you? Did you have to ask to even just do yellow or no? Now, typically, like, if you use spray chalk, yeah. they don't care. Permanent, they don't want you to do. Yeah. Permanent paint. How much pushback do you get from that, that Stokesville area? They... Coming to the final stretch. Last little, little gravel sampler, a little taste of gravel. And then we tackle Mole Hill. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. Let's go. Everybody likes bikes. All right. So The slower times on that sprint segment but the right knees bother me so i'll be lucky if i make it over this last hill i mean absolutely flew up the back side of reddish but i don't know i am human after all and uh yeah right knee is not happy all right seven miles left i got this <sighs> It is beautiful. I mean, what a day. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> you match your cadence with the horse cadence, and you stay as close as you can, about six inches back. It's a, it's a great workout, unless they poop. <laughs> oh, the right knee hurts. I was so close, though. I got it. Just hanging there. There it is, last hill. Come on, knee. You got this. All right. Why the chicken cross the road? So he could get to the KOM. There it is. Ooh. I don't know if I'm gonna be sprinting up this one. Trying to hold on to my placing at this point. Maybe I'll be done there, maybe not. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh. Nice, let's go. meters let's go let's go that's it all right go 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 Oh, 
ますあっ、すぐライトスタイルすぐライトスタイルあっ、ナイスワークああ、ニーワーズンハッピーバーメイドエブラスタイムええ、いや、フィルスケイトゥデビューガーデンConditions? Ooh, a little rough. Yeah. Rough coming down 33. Rain, wind, rough going up the,、uh, the other climb. But we made it. Yeah, that's it. We made it, that's it. Well done, congratulations. So we're coming into the last few miles, and yeah, Cameron just pulled up ahead.、Uh, got a cool group of like five people just in front of us, and、uh, yeah, we're about to roll into this beer garden here. Let's go! That、um, folks ring when they come across.、Uh, it's a really, really nice celebration.、Uh, a great way to start a cap off big ride. We've got food, music. I should think on. So, how have they gone today? It was a bit gritty out there, and the top of the mountain had this mist on it. But Bruce Buckley said it was the most photographically amazing day、uh, he's like, seen. So, lots of clouds, fog, mud, beautiful sun, warm, and the h t s a t i o n s a w e So, huge shout out to Erin、um, and the major team behind her that makes this thing go. Um, and I hope to see you guys at the beer guards here in a few minutes. I'm gonna ring that bell. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, where's this thing? Where's this thing? Oh, thanks, Elliot. So, <laughs> it's Conrad's friends. We got Elliot, Declan in the house, helping out. Why not? There we go. This. Awesome. All right. All right, so a big tradition here is to ring the Swiss clock and bell. If you get to ring this, then you've had a good day. You finished within the time cut, and、um, you know, that is not easy to do at this point. So if you're interested, make sure to check out the website, a l p i n e l i f t g r a n d f o n d o c o m to learn more about our charities. Uh, our partners and our、uh, amazing scene we have here in Harrisburg. We got a couple more photos、yep. here. All right. Oh, here. Well, that's the video. I just sold this for a、okay. second. All right, so we got a couple photos. Where are you from?、Uh, Washington, D.C. And what's your name? Mike. And、I'm、Rudy. Right. All right. Brothers Craft Brewing in the house. So I'm gonna check in here. Beer Garden is to benefit Shenandoah Valley Bicycle Coalition. They're great causes, you know. The coalition is focused on making biking better for everyone. Greenways, trails, bike lanes, everything that makes biking safer, friendlier, more fun, and easier for people to get out. So you should come out for a ride, be part of the movement. It's great, bikes are fun. We know that. <laughs> yeah.、On. But right now, I'm gonna go grab a beer. Enough talk. <laughs> All right. This. Do you see that? That is goodness. Beer never tastes as good as when you earn it. <laughs> 